Hey folks, welcome back to the Metal Mill 52 workshop. My name is Bill, this is my shop. We've got a new project. We're going to be working on the Raritan. Actually not the, the whole locomotive, but the propane burner. You can contact Joe Tansky at this mailing address, and he's, he's on the Chasky group as well. You can email him there. But he sells all the castings, and he also sells a book that comes with the castings. If you can't find the original book and you know this is the book that I'm talking about little it's in the three ring binder one of the cool th hey everybody welcome back to the metal mill 52 workshop my name is Bill this is my shop we're working on a new project I'm excited to have a new project announcement it has to do with the rare tan three quarter inch scale locomotive I'm not going to start building the whole locomotive yet but if you follow the channel you know we just finished building the riding car and there's another thing that's in these plans, and by the way, I get a lot, asked a lot of times, you can buy all the castings, and this is not sponsored or anything, you can buy all the castings and everything from Joe Tansky, Tansky Model Engineering here, there's the address, the information, and um, anyway, I will finish the riding car. The next thing I want to build is, and I'm excited about it, is building the propane burner. The plan book has a very elaborate set of drawings, very complete set of drawings for a propane burner. Here's the general idea, this is kind of what the plans look like. It's basically a brass box with a lid on it with a bunch of holes, like a hundred holes. So I've, I've been assembling over the last couple of weeks, been assembling the material. Here is some half inch brass that I'm going to, um, my idea is to machine the entire, the burner box out of the half inch brass. There's a lot of different ways you could do this. You could build it up, silver solder a box with thinner pieces of brass, but I decided to, to try it this way, um, more for sturdiness than anything else. So I'm going to start out with that, and there's a burner plate that goes on top of it that's made out of 3 16 inch brass. And so this is the piece that, if you follow the LBSC Titch project, I had traced out some some spare eccentrics just in case I needed to cut those out. I did not need them. So anyway, we'll, we'll be able to use that that plate for the burner plate. And then there's some other pieces. Uh, I, I have to make a baffle, and that's made out of 132nd inch brass, and an elbow plate, which will be made out of this 1 16th inch brass. So very it's going to be a neat project i'm not it's i'm going to take my time on it let me show you a couple of interesting things that um i wanted to point out the ni nice thing about it there's a lot of stuff available now this is the setup that i use for my allen mogul this is the fitting that goes into the propane tank and this is just like an air or similar to an air compressor it gives you a reading of what the pressure is in the tank and then there's the the valve controls the overall output so you can set this i have i think i have mine set at like three psi for my allen mogul is really all it takes and the this hooks up to the back of the allen mogul i'll show you where in a second but what i've been doing is laying out some pieces that i could use the the um the the rare tan uses a little jet and so this is what I, i'm going to use together to make i'll make the jet out of this quarter inch brass rod it'll just be this much this long i've just put the pieces together to make sure i had them and it'll go inside this housing which again this will be it's a 5 8 inch brass bar it'll cut off short and machine it with some slots and a center hole in it and this part will be silver soldered to the base plate which will go up underneath the burner so i'm just kind of laying out the parts and pieces now but i plan to use this as my basic setup what i may purchase is it I mean, we may try it just like this but for fine tuning i'll show you the allen mogul actually uses this fine gas control knob which you can buy these things you loco parts i bought all mine from loco parts but you can buy them separately too. I've kind of figured out what that is. And I may buy a, a separate one just like that to use it in line. I just opened the, the back of the Allen Mogul up here. So hopefully you can see inside all those propane burners. 
And if you haven't heard me talk about this before, I do really like the propane. I know coal, coal is cool and all that, but what's great about the propane is it burns so clean. So anyway, I will be bringing you back. I think we'll uh, we'll machine the for this episode. We'll machine the box and uh, get that part done, and I'll bring you back and show you the next step. Thanks. Well, I spent yesterday afternoon after I showed you the layout. Um, I cut the, the pieces to size basically and the round parts are a little bit oversized yet so I'll, I'll trim them up in the lathe. All the square and rectangular things I put in the mill and I got them down to the exact size including the half inch thick brass plate. It's two inches by four inches for the burner body and as you maybe can tell I've laid it out kind of outlined where the uh, the big hole will get machined down here the three quarter inch hole and then a three eighths inch slot and then I've got all the the holes for the screws screw holes they're all lined out too so I'm getting ready to put that in the mill and my plan is to drill all while the, while the piece is solid I'll go ahead and drill all the holes that I need that will end up getting tapped um, the 440 and then I can drill and mill out the, the slot here and then drill out the three quarter inch hole here in the middle and then I can mill out the remaining part of the body as the last step with that and then I can mill the slots on the outside and mill the corners off. That's the general idea. Here's the plan, the print. And the nice thing about these prints are they're kind of laid out in a geometric fashion sort, sort of like you would do for a CNC or something. So. I've laid, that's how I, what I use to lay out my spots, my, uh, the, um, the drill holes and so forth. And I also, I've laid it out on paper so I can remind myself what to do. So this is my project for today is just getting the, bo the body machined out and all these holes drilled and tapped. And then next time I come back, I'll probably do the top plate, which has hundreds of holes in it. And that's, that'll be machined out of that 3 inch brass there. So, and then I won't even need to make this as a separate piece because I'm machining the body out of half inch brass. So this part will just, it'll be machined in place, so to speak. Quick intermediate update. So you can see I've got it in the mill and I've drilled all 14 of the holes, the number 43 holes that will end up getting tapped for 440. I also drilled the three quarter inch through hole. This is where the gas will come in. And I drilled a chain drilled out the slot here. That This will get milled out three eighths of an inch. So it's the, basically the air slot. So that'll be, um, I think the next thing now I can take the drill chuck off the mill. I'll put a, put a uh, three eighths inch end mill in and go ahead and mill this. Just clean that out and then I'll be able to start milling the slot, milling the, uh, center area if you will. I'll bring you back when um, when I've got that a little more progress. That didn't take long at all. Just got that slot milled out with the 3 8 inch. So it's all looking really good now. I've got to uh, figure out. I need to stop and do a little math I think so that I I don't mess up the you know the milling out of the slot. Basically there'll be a half inch wide slot here and then a wider slot, three quarter inch wide slot here, and another half inch wide slot here. So I'm thinking about using. The, I've got the the uh, three sixteen, excuse me, the three three eighths inch end mill in there, and it's a what the Brits would call a slot drill. It's a two fluted end mill, so it'd be, it's perfectly suited to milling those slots. Um, just need to to do that carefully and do a little bit do a little bit of planning actually. I'll bring you back uh, when I have that all milled out. Plus the other, not only do I want to color within the lines, so to speak, I also need to make sure that I don't go below and make the base too thin. So I just need to mill out uh, to leave an eighth of an inch in the bottom there. I'm going to declare victory on this. This is It came out beautiful. This is just exactly what I was hoping for. It took me a while to get the depth exactly right, and I do have to deburr the inside a bit a bit but I'm gonna leave it just like it is for tonight leave it in in place 
and I'll come back and I'll be able to tap all the holes that need to be tapped throughout the, the bottom of the uh, of the base and do any other cleanup but looking really good really happy with how that's going to be so just to recap the air will come up through the bottom here the gas comes up through the three quarter inch hole here and it'll mix underneath and then the flame holes will be on the top cover all right tuesday night i came back and i got all these holes tapped now you can see the i've got the transmission of the bridge port in neutral and i do the tapping by hand and it's really nice with the dro i can just i can set it and make sure i get the holes in the right spot and just i use plenty of lube here even though this is brass and some people tap brass i guess without lube but not me and um anyway i've got them all all 14 of them are all tapped now and <clears throat> excuse me there we go so i'll be able to take this tomorrow my plan is to drill and tap the holes that are on the edges and then the very final step will be to mill the little notches on the corners and mill the notches in the front and the back that go for the the other fixtures specifically the um uh, what do you call it? the flame barrier thing whatever that's called um i'll think of it in a minute but anyway good progress oh i know what what i wanted to mention is for drilling brass you know you you get a set of 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 drill bits and then relieve the edges there's good videos on youtube about this but basically you dull them a little bit so they don't grab it's a really important thing to do that i have a whole set i just waited till harbor freight had a sale got one of these complete sets 29 pieces it goes all the way up to a half of an inch and i've just dulled them and i've i keep them handy and as you can see they're dedicated for for drilling brass okay it's wednesday night so three nights of working on this and uh, all i did tonight was to drill and tap these two 440 holes on the front end and the one on the back and so tomorrow i'll come along and i'll mill off the edges the little corner notches and the notches in the front and the back <clears throat> but so this is it's half inch thick brass really pleased with how it came out so far i was a little nervous about this um construction method if you will but i think it's it's going to be fine you know we'll see for sure was well, not that hard not that hard to get things right get the dimensions right so pretty pretty happy that i'll bring you back when we have it complete okay where we left off last time we've finished machined the brass half inch thick brass body for the burner and the only thing I haven't done yet, I laid it out last night, I haven't milled off the little slots on the back and front and the corners, the little notches that it needs. So what I decided to do, I'll do that at the same time I mill this one, but last night I also laid out, this is the cover plate, it's the 3 inch brass, which will be basically become the burners, but the first thing I wanted to do is lay out there's 10 holes that go through here they're clearance holes for 440 screws and then also this air slot that needs to get milled out here and the rest of this whole thing is going to be covered with 96 little burner holes and what i mean by that there's a little picture of it and what i did just like i did with the um the holes that we have so far I, I basically went made a chart with the x the y-axis then you know I counted the holes in the picture and um, there's 12 holes on the, at the by three three hundred and twelve thou you get the picture here so um, counted up all these rows of holes and then what I, I made a marking of the all the the uh, points on the x-axis where all these holes will be so Basically, we'll just go bit by bit, but I want to do the bigger ones first, the clearance holes. The, the holes that will be for the gas burners are just little number 67 holes, so very tiny diameter. So we'll do the big stuff first. My point is we'll do the big stuff first, then we'll come back and drill all the burner holes. And I'll show you bits and pieces of the progress of that. Yeah, here we are at the bridge port. We've got the uh, 
plate, the burner plate, milled, or not milled yet, but we've got all the seven, or excuse me, ten of the, of the clearance holes, number 32 holes for the 440 screws that'll hold this down to the body. And I've chain drilled the 3 8 inch holes here. I use a succession, of course, as you can see. But I've drilled them out so that it'll be easy enough to mill out uh, when we get done. Next thing I'll do, I'll clear this out and get ready. And we'll start going row by row to drill the burner holes. And, um, yeah, it's going to be 96 of them in total. And like I, when I think my plan is just to do one row at a time and take a little break, come back and do the next row on and on. So I'll update you as we make progress there. Okay, that was an exhausting kind of piece of work, but glad to report I've got a hundred little fire holes drilled safely here. I'm pretty pleased with the pattern there. I used the number 51 wire gauge drill which is 67 thou and uh, I just wanted to show this one thing I made a little grid that I could check off it's a highly recommended thing to do if you have a monotonous exercise like this want to make sure you don't miss any holes so now we can take out the uh, drill chuck put in the milling head and um, mill out that slot I mean, as simple as pie, I've just put the uh, 3 8 inch slot drill in there, milled out the slot, looking good. Really happy with how this is coming along. So now I'll take this out and we'll get ready to mill the edges off of this and the other piece. Bring you back for that. Just a quick shot to show the setup I used for milling the notches in the uh, body of the burner. I'll take it out now, file it, clean it up, and show you what it looks like. All right, here we are with the body of the burner. It's got the notches milled in the edges there. This is the the part that'll be used for the the baffle, the stainless steel baffle that'll get bolted in here. You can see the bottom side of it. I've kind of deburred and I chased all the threads with a tap, a 440 tap, so it's good to go. Just to, to kind of paint a picture here, the gas will be supplied through this tube. I'll have to hollow this out and it'll go onto a flange made out of this that's silver soldered to the elbow fitting and it goes up through here. So the propane will come in the bottom this way. The jet will be made out of this material here. There'll be a baffle here that I need to make. And this is just a brace to hold the bottom, hold it all together. So we got the body, and we've got the uh, the burner plate. This is the bulk of the work, obviously, in making these pieces. Really excited about how this all came together, and um, looking forward to finishing the burner and testing it. What I wanted to say is this will probably be the last segment of this episode. I've got work all week and then I've got a family trip coming up next week so I'm, I wanted to go ahead and publish this and show it talk about the project anyway and then I'll come back it'll probably be two or three three weeks but when I come back I'll have the uh, gas supply and the baffle and everything made and hopefully I'm thinking one more video about making the parts and pieces and then a third video in the series where we actually test it so that's kind of the idea and if you're not, um, you know, if you have any questions, please ask. If you don't have questions, but you want to encourage me to keep making videos like this, just please give me a thumbs up. It does, you know, motivate me a little bit. And I do appreciate it. Thanks for uh, all your comments and your interest in my channel. Everybody have a great time.